you've touched on a lot of um, kind of social issues, like your homeless project. There's one particular image that I saw of the pigeon man, you call him. I think his name is Martin. Martin yeah. Can you tell me a little bit how you started shooting that? I think I read on your blog that you were driving past and you happened to have a camera in the car and saw him. Is that's, that that's, simply that, it? That's basically it. I mean, I was I was actually in an ad agency that afternoon going for a briefing and um, I was driving back up um, under this bridge in the middle of Dublin and uh, spotted this um, guy lying under the bridge feeding pigeons and I thought, God, he looks like a, a Dickens kind of character. Yeah. So, and uh, I just pulled the car up. Probably selfishness on my part, but I just wanted to get a shot of it, you know what I mean? So um, I took the shot of it went over, sort of introduced myself, um, said, can I take a photograph? And he didn't say anything to me, so uh, I wasn't sure. Just what went I, for it. Yeah, I, I went for it anyway. Because yeah, you're a photographer I, and that's I, what you And have I have a do. neck as well, I suppose. <laughs> but but I, I went for the shot and um, came back to the studio here and um, was going through the shots and I, there was one image, which is the one you were speaking of, and um, I absolutely loved it. And I thought, God, I need to know more about this guy. Um, so next day I went down to him. Yeah introduced myself to him and uh, he spoke to me and he came out with this amazing I said how are you doing are you okay and he kind of went excellent thank you I thought, very well to do then yeah and I, was, I was hooked immediately yeah and so I, I started visiting every day bring him his brekkie and we got to chat and he, he hadn't an awful lot to say in the beginning but as time went by um, we started chatting a bit more and more about more personal details although I have no idea really what this guy is all about we're right, still great so mates so still. we still I still drop into him as much as I can so mm. you have a very um a very particular style to your images because I'm thinking in particular of your um your, your image of the the doctor I think uh, Dr. Cecil I think is what you call well, that's him. what I call him it's not yeah really. <laughs> um, and that great series where you have all his patients as well yeah. so the the construction of that image would be quite different to say the construction of Sinead's images where yeah. she was in the space because he's not in that space is he no no again um the the Dr. Cecil's images if you like that you were just speaking about they were guys that I shot here in the studio and I shot the backgrounds HDR in various buildings okay some of them were hospitals one or two of them were lunatic asylums um, that were abandoned that I shouldn't have been in probably but anyway, I got in shot shot corridors and I normally shoot them all HDR Wow! because you have the opportunity to shoot them by shooting HDR you also get the original image anyway if you don't like the HDR version yeah. but with HDR you can dial it up or dial it down or whatever and and uh, it's it's just it's just a wonderful tool for, for using for backgrounds and stuff like okay. that okay now I'm, now I it can either be a cartoon or it can be very, very subtle. And I think where most people, the HDR haters, uh, dislike it is where it becomes a cartoon. Okay. But but it's very subtle sometimes in your work that we wouldn't... Well, I, I sometimes dial it up to cartoon <laughs> as well. I mean, I, and I don't see a problem with that. But, you know... People I, obviously like it, though, because exactly. you're doing well and you're getting requests for it time after time. So I Well, the biggest request it. is my own because <laughs> that's what I like doing. So, do, I mean... Yeah. Um, as I say, I don't I don't use it very often, but when I do use it, I tend to dial it up a bit. And but I but I, I make no apologies for that. I, it's what I like to do, and that's it. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to Adorama TV, where we have lots of information on photography related items. Also, we'd love to hear what you think, so be sure to comment, share, and let us know what you think. Bye for now. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.